hey guys welcome to my channel gs with rahul so in this lecture i am going to continue this 5w plus 1s series and in this lecture particularly we are going to deal with the revision of all the all the same similar kind of topics in this particular uh, lesson in which we are going to revise the topic called subsidiary alliance uh, doctrine of lapse and claim of paramount c because they are interrelated and correlated to each other and that, that's why we are, we are going to discuss the pheno phenomenal advancement of these topics particularly in this lesson itself so this lecture is presented by me rahul and i am a btech mechanical engineering student so let's get started so here as i am already uh, saying you that it is the lecture in which we are going to cover the revision at a glance first of all we will discuss about the subsidiary alliance then claim of paramount c then the doctrine of lapse and this lecture is be is helpful for only those of you who i uh, have already covered these lectures separately before this particular lecture so kindly go to the playlist section of this particular my channel gs with rahul and there you can find all the relevant information regarding this so first of all is the uh, the topic is subsidiary alliance so it is introduced by lord wellesley who was the governor general from 1798 to 1805 under this act what uh, happened that the army the accountability of the army is directly linked to the uh, britishers and there is no control of the king on this army and apart from that whenever there is a need of a urgent uh, a situation and any situation emerge when king want the support of army then it should uh, then he should take the permission of uh, this britisher sort of thing so that's why there is a direct linkage between army and britishers uh, indirectly the britishers captured the authority of the military and apart from that they are are taking the Britishers are taking the subsidiary forces as the taxes for the payment of salaries and wages to this particular army so or uh, a uh, both um, the, this is this is we understand as the as the win-win situation for the Britishers and that's why and apart from that there is a term and condition that they captured the territory as penalty if the king is unable to uh, pay this subsidiary alliance and that's why it is imposed in Awadh and Hyderabad and it was the policy of expansion after consolidation and next we have is the claim of paramount sea introduced by lord hastings under this they are trying to convince the indians that they are superior and we indians are inferior and that's why it is their duty to uh, rule on us it is their duty to develop the undeveloped countries of the east and that's why all the western countries do the colonization sort of thing using this claim and it is more uh, undignified than that of the subsidiary alliance you have to remember this and it is not possible that uh, this uh, goes unchallenged so that is why Kitur in Kitur Karnataka today it faces certain challenges by Rani Chanamma and Rayanna subsequently and apart from that it is also the policy of expansion that's why we are covering all the topics in the same lecture apart from that doctrine of lapse it was introduced by Lord Dalaji under this you have to remember Rani Lakshmi Bai sort of thing for for understanding this as if a male hire if there is no male hire in a kingdom the kingdom would automatically lapse that is it become the company's territory so you have to remember this sort of thing and uh, for example just try to remember the image that i have incorporated in this particular lecture that rani lakshmi i want to save her save her uh, child her son uh, because of this reason because if he if he faces that then automatically the kingdom would be lapsed so try to remember this sort of thing apart from that Satara, Sambalpur, Udaipur, Nagpur, Jhansi and our try to remember this by the mnemonic trick called SSUN so SSUN JA so Satara, Sambalpur yeah, yeah, you have to remember this sort of thing apart from that it is also the policy of expansion that is why I am dealing on all these topics in the same lecture so that you can have a proper grasp over this lecture and apart from that how it took how it is different how it is imposed on this particular state so it was also the and uh, further step after the this uh, claim of paramount sea which was itself introduced by the lord hastings so i hope it would be helpful for you so just try to remember all these things in a single go and i uh, am um, please like subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you can get the regular notification regarding my upcoming lectures thank you